This Kansas City Chiefs preview edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Bet a hundred dollars at WinBet and get a hundred dollar free bet. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W Y N N B E T to claim your free bet today. Hey, this is Derek Stevens. I'm the owner of Circa Las Vegas. You're listening to FGPN. Let it ride. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner picks Ryan real money Kramer. What's happening? Crame dog. No, it's just football after dark. No, a couple yes. guys talking football, <laughs> talking to shit, shitting on things, t- talking about, I mean, Colby talking about NFL for a whole yeah. whopping 30 minutes. We caught Colby uh, as uh, he misses sh- being a bartender. The, the shift change <laughs> happened at the bar. Uh, Danny Solomon joining us here. You know him from Sorry We Love Football, oh. Kansas City Chiefs, uh, mega fan. What's happening, Danny? Not much. Just excited to be here back in the, well for the first time in this studio, but yeah. back with the boys. Yeah, uh, I I think you uh, did uh, the show Maybe a couple a times. Draft? I think you were at yeah. Uh, yeah. We've had you on for the draft shows. We had you up at Kramer's Garage a couple times, but this is your debut in the uh, nice, relatively new studio. Well, still, no one car garage at your place. No studio. No, just that okay. was that was the previous uh, iteration, and uh, yeah. Kansas City Chiefs super fan. We're going to talk Kansas City Chiefs mm. win total sitting at ten and a half. Lot to uh, lot to break down, but before we do, got to shout out. Oh, listen to those trumpets! Let's go, baby! You're getting down on all this NFL action. You got to do it over at WinBet Sports slash W Y N N B E T. Thirty two NFL team previews. All the odds. The win the division, win the AFC Super Bowl championship. All coming to you from sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet and just release their new market. First quarterback with five touchdowns. That prop bet is alive and available over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W Y N N B E T. And of course, bet $100, get a $100 free bet to get you covered there. So much action, so many ways to get down. If you're grinding out MLB, head over there as well. Maybe you know, maybe even a Patrick Mahomes MVP. No one's talking about it. So much action you can get down on. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WYNNBET. Offer subject to change terms, conditions, and winbet.com. Must be 21 or older and present in the state where play through winbet is available. If you or someone you know has a gaming problem, call 1 800. Five two two forty seven hundred, and we're also uh, run your pool. That's right, NFL Survivor Contest. We're running it with uh, Run Your Pool, which is a uh, a great place to run any sort of your uh, season long pools. Again, if you're listening to this show, you're probably the person at the office in charge of running the office pool. Make it easy on yourself and uh, do it with Run Your Pool. Step one, though, enter our Survivor Contest play. Dot run your pool slash SGPN. Winner will get five hundred dollars cash and a two hundred five two hundred fifty dollar gift card to the SGPN store. Play dot run your pool dot com slash SGPN, and they have it all: customized features, fantasy, pick 'em, survivor, whatever sort of NFL pool you want to get going. Run your pool has you covered. Very easy to set up and very easy to to use. I've run a number of pools uh, over on Run Your Pool before they were even a sponsor. So I, I remember when they came on, they go, "All right, go get set up over at Run Your Pool." I go, not mm. a problem. Already <laughs> set up over at Run Your Pool. Play dot Run Your Pool dot com slash S G P. I'm getting a and pool, Sean. Yes, an, an actual uh, in ground pool. Yeah, quite yeah. the flex, oh, right? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you're blowing and, Danny's mind. And survivor here. pools. I'm, yes, those are those cool are too. the two pools you're well, ready to hop in. I'm a, I like a confidence pool. <laughs> the confidence pool you know, is that fun. slow stroll over to the hot tub. Well, cause it, the, the, <laughs> the confidence pool is great because it really, it, it's kind of closer to getting down on games because obviously the ones you feel more confident about 
Uh, you're going bigger with the confidence points. It whittles out hmm. the is luck. That how it yeah. works? It whittles out the luck. Associated. Great for college. Yes. Great for co- if you're doing a straight <laughs> college pool, get, get over yourselves. Switch to confidence. All right, let's go. All right, uh, Danny, where to where to start with this Kansas City Chiefs? So much to unpack. Well, I think we got to. Well, we have to start with does the water in Kansas City cure hangovers? <laughs> because once again, we we are faced with a Kansas City team that is facing a, some sort of hangover, right? Yeah, where where are you at with the mental state of the team? Uh, you know, disappointing uh, AFC Championship game. Wait, walk us through, and and we'll get through the tough part first. But oh, walk no. us through that that <laughs> Bengals loss. That had to been uh, frustrating. Yeah, I you know I just didn't see out of all the outcomes that could have arisen from that game. Mm-hmm. I did not see Patrick Mahomes second half meltdown after being up so twenty one points. Yeah. I just did not see it being possible. I did feel during the game when that Tyreek goal line pass didn't go in. I was like, mm. I felt something entered the room, a- something as, evil. As a, as someone who was on the Bengals money line, I said, mm. you know what? <laughs> we got a chance. We got a chance. It was crazy because the uh, the bar underneath us, which oh. is actually a way shittier bar with less screens, uh, than they, our office. Yeah, than our office. They were going nuts because it was a Bengals bar, and they were actually like a couple seconds ahead. So I could like I heard the <laughs> the crowd roar from beneath us before I saw the Tyreek play. Do you think that Tyreek play at all and and maybe his performance in the playoffs had any sort of impact in him being shipped out or was it purely purely financial? I mean, you know, I'm obviously not inside the locker room here. Yeah. I'm just going by what the beat writers are are kind of gleaning from training camp, from practices, from the, you know, in between weeks, but basically you're in the locker room. I'm I'm in the know Plugged when in. it comes to Tyreek Hill's state of mind. And it felt <laughs> very much to me. Mm. I concur with all the beat writers. Tyreek was kind of checked out. Maybe mm. a little bit. Maybe a little bit. He was still a gamer. He's still amazing. I love him. I will thank him forever for bringing me a Super Bowl. I will forgive him for all of his deeply troubling transgressions that okay, he committed. Yes. In order to just say, you know, uh, thank Process you for the Super Bowl. Yeah. But there was some talk about him wanting to go to Miami mm-hmm. even prior to really? the end of the season that he had a plan that he was, you know, he knew that he could get big money elsewhere. And that there was kind of the feeling that Veach wasn't going to overpay for a receiver because we've got Mahomes. Yeah, you know, other teams, b- teams with bad quarterbacks, yeah. teams with middle of the road teams with Tua, they go, <laughs> they go break the bank yeah. for a, a high price wide receiver like this. Great teams yeah. with great quarterbacks. We have the confidence to elevate know their game. We could do it for anyone. I like I like that I, mean, I like that mentality. Yeah, and that's why you go out and pay Juju like a couple million bucks. Uh, you know, I, I was I was listening to a show and I it, you know it had gotten lost in the shuffle. Juju's deal is <laughs> it's insane. Ins- it's insanely low, especially when you see how the rest of the receiver market got priced out. One year, three million dollars. I mean, I'm sure Juju in his mind was like, "Hey, let me sign with the Chiefs, yeah. get some good numbers, and then after one year, either re-sign with the Chiefs for a nice number or, or go out and and test free agency." Mm-hmm. What's your What's your take on Juju so far? Because I think I, I've been going back and forth, but I've been slowly warming up to the fact that Juju could be a PPR machine just on the idea that, like, I don't know. Besides Kelsey, who is obviously going to be the the main target, Juju. Has the consistency, and I, I don't know. I could just see him racking up a ton of catches. Maybe not deep down the field, but uh, PPR guy. Wait, what's your early analysis on Juju? Couldn't agree more. You know, yeah. uh, it seems like he's the guy who's taken over the wide receiver room. That he's the leader of the receiver room. He wants to prove himself. I believe it was two point seven five million dollars. Okay, the there cap. you go. Yeah. Uh, mm. So you know, we really hosed this guy. But the <laughs> idea is, and I think he agrees. I think he personally, he wishes he had signed with us last season. Yeah. If it was him and Tyreek, we wouldn't have lost that game to the Bengals. We'd be, we'd be carrying around the Lombardi trophy right now. Uh, and it's a shame that that didn't happen. I think both sides kind of felt like it was a bad move. Now we've got him, and he's got us and we're ready to make a deal next off season. Yeah. There's just one prove it season to go. Yeah. And I think he's going to prove it. I think he's going to fucking prove it out there. You know, the, the chiefs are an interesting team because they're just getting, uh, you know, from a national view, I feel like they're getting no hype, no sort of, cause they, uh, you know, the way the season ended, but also like the end losing Tyreek Hill. But you look at still what they have. It's, it's pretty damn good. And, and you have Andy Reed, Andy Reed, 
one forty five and one hundred three in yeah. Kansas City. I mean, he got Alex Smith to double digit wins, it's, eleven, twelve it's, wins. It's crazy to think how old we are to still remember him as. Be, I mean, he's been on the Chiefs for a long fucking time. Yeah, ten years. And 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 I it, feel like it's his new team. But really, he's been there for a decade. Here's what's killing me: is everyone is just focused, hyper focused on how you know, obviously taking Tyreek Hill out of the offense yeah. hurt the team last year. And now with him gone, they're acting like Andy Reed isn't going to figure it out. Um, maybe Andy Reed, an entire they, season where well, it's just him sitting at that computer in the Hawaiian shirt. He's got the mouse in one hand, the barbecue in the other, and just looking at ways to adjust to uh, them playing with the two high safety or whatever was giving them trouble. And then not having Tyree kill. Oh, you want to play two high safeties? Yeah, I'm going to roll. It. I'm going to roll out Noah Gray next to Travis yeah. Kelsey. A little too tight end. Wow. Juju, he likes to block. What if this team <laughs> randomly just re- resembles a power running team at points this year? I, I, I do think that they're going to they're going to change a little bit. And yeah, they have some receivers that are going to work their way in and maybe turn into field stretchers and in MVS, a guy we love in fantasy. Uh, Sky Moore certainly looks like a, a running back wearing 24, but uh, looked really good, like dynamic. Not to, to yeah. quote the great George Bush, but a very <laughs> dynamic hands. receiver. Big hands. But but again, when you have a guy like Juju, he's gonna set the tone from a blocking sense. And I and again, I haven't been high on many teams. Yeah. But, but I hear this. I've I've heard this consistent narrative about how this Kansas City team. Is gonna st- take a step back because of Tyree Kill, and their defense is going to take a step back because they lost leader uh, Tyron Matthew, among some other players, and, and they're just matter of facting Patrick Mahomes into an under, Andy Reid into an under. And while I absolutely love the Chargers as per usual, and I seem <laughs> to like the Broncos, and hey, I, I like the Raiders too. Sure, go ahead. AFC West. A- as I was looking into this team and the situation, it's like, well, fuck. They started off shitty last year. Yeah. And they still end up playing in the conference finals. Like at what, home. What am I doing here? Yeah, I I I mean, just real quick on last year, Sean, because uh I, I yeah, think Yeah, what did we predict? Well and what did we have how did we do compared Cap- to Captain fucking Bullseye today, twelve and five. Nailed it. I had them on the under. Uh, we picked it there, at twelve and a half, Sean. Yeah, which is you insane. had it at thirteen and four. Okay, you, you locked up the division two at minus two fifty. So, and they won the division. So, ka-ching on that. Congratulations for giving out not, that. Not really that exciting. They were eight and nine against the spread. They were really kind of all over the map as yeah. far as like a team to bet on because they were obviously laying a big number. I think this year, especially like. Early on, they could be catching but, some some safe but, numbers. But yeah, and before we throw it, because again, I have some history with Spags. So before I throw it over to, to to let's talk about the defense. It they gave up twenty seven points in six of their first seven games last year. Yeah, people's angle for why they're going to take a step back is the defense is going to suck and have some growing pains, and the offense might not be the same. The offense wasn't very good. They were three and four halfway through the season. It the same it happened last year. Yeah, we We're saw like, the we saw the potential regret- and they won twelve games. Your your floor with Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid can only be so low. You can uh, you can have me out there on like nickel cornerback, and you could still probably get the double digit wins because you uh, have yeah. you have the I mean we saw my forty time ride. Don't make me bring it up again. <laughs> but wasn't that point oh one seconds? <laughs> I beat him by point oh two. Oh. You know, we, um, we tried to run at the same time, but we we didn't make that happen. So we had a timer. You know, yeah, it was hand timed. I'll give you that. Uh, research <laughs> research flat Earth in the YouTube oh, channel. God, love this guy. He's he's, a, he's, he's a an island fan. dude too. So he's that's... a he's a new fan favorite. Um, as <laughs> as much as I agree with the Chiefs' uh, demise being super overrated, their schedule isn't favorable at all. Yeah, and that's that's, that's probably fair. and we'll get through it when we get walk that's through the fair. schedule, but. Their strength of schedule, according to opponents' win totals, is the hardest. Thirty second easiest. Nine point one is the yeah. average win total that they're playing this year. I mean, part of it is being yeah. in the AFC West, so that's certainly going to cloud it. And then you're playing a first place schedule. I guess it just makes sense that they're having the hardest schedule. Danny, I'm sure you have walked through the schedule a number of times. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do Run it a ourselves. lot of simulation. <laughs> <laughs> Danny does a lot of uh, Madden work. He, oh, nice. he puts in the hours. It like gets franchise it, modes. It puts something in the air. Yeah. It puts winning in the air. <laughs> what's what's your early take on this schedule? 
I mean, you're not wrong. I know that we're playing a lot of good teams. I know that the the Bills are a tough team yeah. to play early. I know that the the Bucks well, are tough. Um, here's the thing: a lot of this schedule stuff is overblown by the fact that everybody thinks the Chargers, Broncos, and Raiders are going to be good. Yeah, and I'm just here yeah, to tell you, true. you know. <laughs> Don't count your chickens on that. I don't know if these guys really have what it takes to beat Patrick Mahomes in an entire season's worth of games. You might get him once sometime on the, on a rare occasion, maybe even twice, but it's not going to be the same team beating them twice. That's for sure. And I don't see where the chargers have, I will say what's wrong with the chargers is that they, they're the chargers. They're, they're always the chargers. good, but they just have that problem of being yeah. the chargers. Diego. Super charge. I agree with that. Charge. They just everybody does this every off season since Stan talks Humphreys them, was around. <laughs> talks themselves, yeah, talks themselves into the Chargers making a run again. We are rooting for the Chargers to win the Super Bowl as we put it out there. We will host the Chargers yes, we, uh, Super Bowl parade. <laughs> you can meet at the office. We'll walk around the block. I just for the comedy sake of seeing. Uh, you know, you thought the Rams uh, Super Bowl. I mean, the Rams won a Super Bowl in their hometown, and you walked around. You had no fucking idea that. No, yeah, no. Uh, let's it. let's kind of switch over to the defense. Uh, looks like they spent a bunch of draft capital. Trent McDuffie, cornerback out of Washington, we like him. and uh, who I thought was a good prospect, George Karloftis. We like him too. Defensive end out of Purdue. Uh, the early reports, at least I saw in Karloftis, he had a really good uh, first preseason game, getting some pressure. What about McDuffie? Where are you at so far with the the young guys coming in on the defense? Yeah, well, luckily I've watched every snap of every video <laughs> from training here. camp, and <laughs> I can tell you, Trent McDuffie is the next Marcus Peters. Oh, he's wow. locked down. He's on people's hips. He can't be he can't be stopped as a, a slot guy. And I think the knock on him was that he had short arms, oh, no. which might make it difficult to yeah. play outside. I you know, I would worry a little bit, maybe if you're manning him up on Jamar chase, which does tend to happen in a spags defense. Uh, but I think he'll get that cleaned up after last year's debacles. So as long as you don't have this kind of smaller, short armed guy on the biggest dude on the field. And I think we got that taken care of with a couple of long cornerbacks that we drafted later on in the draft, Jalen Watson, uh, Joshua Williams. These are names to remember, but Trent McDuffie He's going to be that dude who can. And, and what what about the uh, safety position? L losing Honey Badger, but by all accounts, they kind of let him walk. They didn't think he he was a could, bit bit washed. They, maybe they didn't think he could run with the speed he once had. Where are you at with uh, Honey Badger? Would you like to see him them try and make a move on him? I love or Honey Badger. Yeah, I mean, it, there's going to be a place in my heart for Honey Badger always. Uh, we just got a younger version of him with Justin Reed. He's yeah. a great character guy. He's the guy who came in and, and is leading the defense kind of. He's the guy who they That's keep bringing good. up to the podium. I think they're they're confident in him. And bonus, he kicks extra points. <laughs> wow, wow, really? Oh yeah, if you this, saw the preseason this, game, he see, kicked a perfect down the middle extra point. Sean, this that's is classic the kind of uh, hey, that's why we bring the experts on, right? I, I mean, look, isn't this just the classic example of when the Chris Jones is playing, the defense is going to be manageable and when he's not yes, playing, sir. they're going to look they're going to look like horrible shit. And Patrick Mahomes is going to have to be <laughs> Superman. I, I think that's the bottom line. Maybe, you know, can Dunlap or Clark stay healthy and provide a pass for it. I mean, this defense has been all about Chris Jones ability to be on the field. And when he's on the field. Th th yeah. He's, he's a grown man. Clark has quit drinking yep. over the oh, off season. See, th I, I love this insight. A lot of the stuff that was going on. <laughs> I mean, on it with worked him. for Max Crosby. I, I know we're fucking around here, but Max and Darren Crosby, Waller, Max Crosby, Darren, <laughs> when those guys got sober, they got better. And, and Clark is looking faster. Yeah. He's he see he's thinner, but not in a bad way. He's still got the power. Uh, and I, I like just feel this. like, you know, a lot of the problem with him last season was availability too. He wouldn't be there during the weeks because, uh, you know, he was having stomach problems. He admitted it was because of the drinking. Yeah. And now that he's cut that out of his life, That's he's refound Jesus. He is ready to <laughs> sack some quarterback. Jesus, found, refound Jesus, yeah. resigned it, with Jesus. It helps people. And you know, he's, he's the shark again. <laughs> I, I can tell you, I, I buy eight sacks for Frank Clark. I mean, and oh, yeah, okay. who knows Karloftis, if he can, he can work his way in. Look, this is a team they've done well to, to develop certain types of players. And 
I, I think you, when you have Patrick Mahomes, you have to you have to get like have a little bit of the whole like well, you can't assume Kelsey's going to get hurt because he really doesn't get hurt. You can't assume Knock that on what they should be I, again. I I don't know. I don't know if the hill thing matters as much. Now, what would would matter to me is like, hey, they were super healthy last year. They won a lot of close games. Like the, a lot of regression indicators, but. Turnover differential was plus four, not crazy. Not and they were still not worth. They were though. actually a little sloppy. Um, it, they lost twenty five regular season turnovers in twenty twenty one. Their highest total since twenty twelve with Matt Castle and Brady Quinn. I mean, some of that was, you know, Mahomes getting picked off. I mean, he. Well, it was Hill too, dropping passes yeah. and let him come through his hands, and then people would pick him off. I mean, if you look at the highlights, which I have, <laughs> he's done the math. <laughs> Yeah, if you Patrick Mahomes did career high interceptions thirteen, which is still not you know yeah, but not it, it was, breaking, but a little higher than but it was, certainly is average. It was such a tale of you look at the first seven weeks, yeah, three and four. You look at the rest of the season; they lost one game, and it was that Bengals game, <laughs> yeah, week seventeen. So I, I I think this team will 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 once again have the ceiling of the best team in the league. Again, Chris Jones probably has to be on the field during that run, but. The people uh, that are saying, "Hey, Patrick Mahomes," like the people drafting Trey Lance ahead of Patrick Mahomes in fantasy insane. leagues, you guys are insane. The people who are saying Trey Lance might, or uh, I'm sorry, Patrick Mahomes might not be like Patrick. This isn't his year to be the guy. <laughs> Who's saying that? <laughs> Tell sick him, Danny. The, there are <laughs> the fact that there are casually five quarterback, four quarterbacks, commonly brought up as like, oh, it's. Clearly, Josh Allen and Herbert are above Mahomes, and Lamar maybe is in that same category. And it's like, well, wait, hold on. Hear, hear me out though, too. Like, I think there is a similar comparison Ooh. to uh, Green Bay Packers here, where <laughs> we love the Aaron Rodgers comps. <laughs> well, no, I'm, I'm just we saying they were them. they were a consistently they're yeah. a consistently good regular season team that's going to win double digits uh, that has a high floor because of their quarterback and Matt Lafleur. As much as I don't think he's like an amazing head coach, certainly in the regular season, it's hard to argue with his results. So, you get Patrick Mahomes in there, and and the storyline becomes, oh, they don't have Tyree Kill. What are they going to do? Similar to Green Bay, oh, they don't have Devontae Adams. They don't have Devontae Adams. You have a quarterback that can yeah. elevate these players, and their offense will be fine. Dare I say, good. So, with a know, little ayahuasca, yes, it, it can help. I don't know. I don't know if Patrick Mahomes is taking yeah. ayahuasca. There is, there is, uh, and I'll speak for the YouTube chat. There is concern. That Juju and Patrick Mahomes' brother are going to collab on some TikToks <laughs> and, sure. and take down the season. Well, let's, Why let's, not? Hey, ta Mahomes. Ta take that and turn it the other way. So yeah. it looks it looks different because what if it's this is the way we bridge the gap between that horrible piece of shit known as Patrick Mahomes' brother? Oh wow! And Patrick Mahomes, maybe this is repairing a family rift. Maybe this is repairing okay. the issues with his wife who clearly she's into the brother more than Patrick. So <laughs> there's some weird vibes going on. Look, there. there's, there this are, is all trumped up. We unfortunately <laughs> learned too much about the family. So maybe Juju yeah. is the, the, uh, the glue clearly fucking his wife. He's had two kids oh. in two years. I wow. mean, uh, well that, but, but do we know, I mean, Jackson looks a lot like Patrick, so we, <laughs> you'll never, I guess you'll never we know. Should. We should take a paternity test. Huh? Andy uh, Reed <laughs> only two seasons since he went to Kansas City, oh. sub eleven wins. All there the other go. seasons, eleven wins plus. He had ten wins in twenty seventeen, and then nine in twenty fourteen. Other than that, it's been eleven plus for the rest of. Uh, and Patrick Mahomes, eleven wins is his worst season, and that was the season where he only played fourteen games. He was eleven and three. So it, uh, it's really hard to get to the under unless you're really going out of your way to to kind of build a narrative. The the offensive line, which we haven't talked about, PFF has them graded ninth. Um, maybe Good some, enough. maybe some questions with the right tackle, but Mahomes is definitely one of those guys who can can make the offensive line yeah, a little I mean, better with his ability to run around. Uh, Danny, I think again the <laughs> listeners want to know Isaiah Pacheco. Uh -huh. Are we drafted him? Is the hype real? Give us the camp reports. Look, guys. I mean, I, I don't know if if this is going to get the word out, which is kind of detrimental to my own drafting needs. But Isaiah Pacheco is at least your number two running back. That's crazy. He is also potentially, and I would say very potentially, your goal line back. Wow. Because they don't really trust CEH at the goal line. I don't know if you guys were. Yeah. I mean, beginning of last season, he had he had one series where he went and tried to go in three times, got stuffed, and they basically never gave him goal line touches again. I think they don't trust him. He's good for other things. Isaiah Pacheco is a big dude, but fast. I mean. 
every time you talk to to the coaches about him, the enemy, you talk to Veach about him. I mean, these guys are hard as a rock for Isaiah Pacheco. Do you remember? I mean, think all right, so his speed score, he's ahead. So at two sixteen, he ran a four three seven. Uh, he's ahead of Brees Hall, who ran a four three nine at two seventeen. Kenny Ken Walker four three eight at two eleven. Zamir White a four four at two fourteen. Like Pierre Strong a four three seven at two oh seven. These are all big dudes moving fast, and he was the the the, the biggest and the fastest. Uh, he certainly has become. The, I mean, Sean, I've been I've been sneaking off to do best ball drafts. I, <laughs> what is he? What is he? What round is he going 12. down? Wow. Yeah. Because when we were and doing. Rising. When we were doing yeah. the uh, draft, 15, day, 16, I gotta 20, draft soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> he was like, he was like eighteen, and that was like crazy that you're taking him in the eighteenth round, and and so you're totally out on Ronald Jones fantasy wise, right? I'm out on him team wise. I don't yeah. think he's gonna be on the team. He was the third uh, string running back. Well, yep. I mean, I don't even know if we saw a glimpse of Jarek McKinnon during the preseason, but. Ronald Jones was one of the last guys out there. Yeah. And did absolutely nothing with his touches. And, and that seems to be what camp is is also and saying. I'm pretty sure they're financially obligated more to McKinnon than they are Ronald Jones. So and I mean, from the looks of it, that generally rightly matters. so. Yeah, that generally matters with and and is Derek Gore gonna be in the mix? Because I think he got cut. Practice right? squad guy. I don't if he got cut, it oh, would really? have had to be today and oh, okay. in between the time that we look because I'm I'm on Twitter constantly <laughs> looking at these things. How dare you try no, to No, no. He's a practice I, squad. I guy. thought he was. I thought you're right. He's still on the team. Jesus, Sean. he's handling. Don't <laughs> write his wrong. death notice. It's just a couple of drops. He's Fuck, han- he's handling. Uh, he's handling long snapping. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. I was kind of thinking early on in the process that Derek Gore might be that like sneaky like twentieth round pick, but before the rise of uh, Isaiah Pacheco, because I was out on McKinnon and Ronald Jones, but now it seems like uh, oh, Pacheco. No. McKinnon's gonna randomly do something this year. You just yeah. wait. They they could be they could be annoying. You just wait. All right, Ryan, you ready? Uh, let's get to the schedule. Before we do that, shout out to Odds Trader, your number, your one stop shop when it comes to comparing odds from all the major sports books. Uh, get the best sign up codes, the promos, get the best deals. They also got player stats, injury reports, projected game day weather, whatever you need for betting. Odds Trader has you covered, and the Bet Tracker to allow you to keep records of all your games and betting activity. Just go to oddstrader.com slash blue wire. That's oddstrader.com slash blue wire. Odds Trader, the number one site for all your game day bets. And of course, Sleeper Fantasy, the fasting gr- fastest growing fantasy uh, platform. They got they just went over four million users. I'm in a sleeper fantasy league. Danny just raised his hand. He's in the sleeper fantasy league. And now they've just added their new uh, over under game as well. So you can be in your Fantasy uh, football setup there, the fantasy football screen. You can click over under, get down on uh, player props, and and win some real cash. Two x all the way up to twenty x. Uh, just picking over under on your whether you're fading your fantasy team, fading your buddy's fantasy team, whatever it is. Sleeper.com slash SGP. Go there, get the hundred percent deposit bonus up to one hundred dollars. Promo code SGP. Sleeper.com slash SGP. Hundred hundred dollar match on your first deposit. Terms and conditions apply. See sleepers terms of use for details. All right, Kramer, let's what, do it. What Schedule. A t- what a time to be alive. And by the way, what if Antonio Brown, we saw glimpses mm-hmm. of the crazy before he <laughs> left the stable locker room that is Mike Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers? What could we see from Tyreek this year? Because again, you could kick Mike McDaniel's ass. Ty, Tyree we are, that is a narrative we're trying to push. We did see Tyree kill in Vegas. This is a man. He was playing uh, no craps craps, which he, we both decided was crazy. I, like <laughs> honestly, it, the the analogy to like if he thinks uh, two is an accurate quarterback, like that that that's why he's at that. But he had a he had a bodyguard keeping the keeping the the working ladies away. Yes, and, and I just got a. I don't know if that one one guy is going to do the trick down there in Miami. <laughs> He's going to have his hands full. Uh, so I I wonder the down there. if we might <laughs> if if the move to Juju might create some sort of uh I don't know, galvanized iron mm, character and, and and help with uh yeah, I mean less me guys, right? Less uh, except for Jackson Mahomes, he's still a me guy. All right, ca- all right. Let- he's practice squad anyway. <laughs> at at uh, at Arizona, starting the season. Of course, the Chiefs are three point road favorites. Then we have a home game against the Chargers on Thursday Night Football at the Colts. 
And then at the Bucks on Sunday night football. All right. So obviously they they're gonna beat the Chargers at home Thursday mm-hmm. night, the early in the season, right? It's a tough spot for the Chargers. It, it is. Yeah, and you don't think it's a tough spot for us, given that you're picking the Chargers to go all the way? <laughs> no, no, no. That is just for, that. That's just for comedy's sake. Uh, Chargers uh, are not my Super Bowl pick. I had them at like nine and eight. Kramer's uh, ten, higher ten on the Chargers. Ten and seven. I'm I'm looking at it. Ten and seven. I had yeah. I have, all right. I went ten and seven. Yeah, I have everyone in this division winning <laughs> double digits. They're so. always nine and eight. I mean, I just, like. But, I well, like. No, they're always eight and eight. But I got the nine. Broncos over the Chargers. Right, so we we have a a, a decent. I, I understand the, the the argument for why the schedule is hard, and I understand for why you might say they're going to start slow. But Kyler coming off a big contract, no DeAndre, DeAndre Hopkins, Hopkins and like, who knows if he's working the iPad or not? Yeah, you know? to me, it, it's hard to imagine a world where, and it just Andy Reid week one, you so can we, put him in any spot. I three like road games in three four weeks out of these four is tough. I'll go. I want to say three and one, but I'll go two and two. That that at Buck spot is is really why though that they they don't need to run the ball. Well, that's true, and uh, I like said that Bucks are going to be tough. I'll go go three and one. Yes, three and one. I'll go three and one. Danny, yeah, young defense uh, against Tom Brady is is tough. But uh, I think the Colts are dog shit. Yeah. And oh, you think Tom Brady's coming back from his break? He might never come back. I, I believe he has the nuclear codes. Actually, I think t- I think Trump got him down him in Mar-a-Lago. Him. But uh, I definitely think those first three games are are winnable. I'm worried about the Chargers. I'm worried about starting uh, on a little bit of a dip. I know it's the home opener. No, um, no. But really, you're not confident. Well, because I'm confident in the rest of the games. Yeah. So I'm so confident in at least the back half of our season. I'm willing <laughs> to say two and two. Wow. We went, did we come out too hot, Sean? No, no, it's all right. Do we need to reevaluate. I'll, I'll adjust this next batch is interesting for them. I love right. it. You guys are better than me at this <laughs> Raiders at home Monday night football bills. Re- little revenge spot for the Bills coming to town. That's good. That's going to be a tough spot for the Chiefs at mm. San Francisco, and then we got a bye week, and then we have the Sunday night game hosting the Titans. You know, never a great matchup for the Chiefs, but also I, I you know, I think we're I'm personally lower on this Titans team. You know that at that point in the season, could, could this Titans team be talking about Malik Willis? Like at least the media, is, so. is it Malik Willis time? Uh, I don't know. It really is this, I'm almost regretting not going two and two because to me, this there's the three home games here and the road game is going to be against Trey Lance. I'll go, I'll go two and two here to put them at re- five and re- three, which feels like a good number for the first half. Cause I think they do lose to the bills, even though it's at home. Bills have a mass. They've they've had this game circled for the entire off season, and then so? I think they lose one maybe between the Raiders. Bills do have non conference road game. Titans at home. Ravens Steelers one. leading up into the that Chiefs game. They play the Ra- at Ravens then Steelers. Like those are two physical games. I mean, <sighs> Danny, what are you doing? You I, going three I, and one here. I think three and one is is. Uh. Pretty op, uh, pretty pessimistic to be Ooh. honest. I think we could take all of these, but yeah, I I just don't like Derek Carr at all against us. I yeah. mean, he is just flummoxed by whatever we do. No matter who our D coordinator is, he just can't get it right. And then yeah, I mean, you're saying Trey Lance, if unless he's great, I don't know how what their trump card is against I, us. I feel like if he was great, he would have found a, a way onto the field last year a little bit more than just filling in for injury. Like I don't know. The guy just hasn't played that much football. It's, I mean, it's have crazy. You, have you heard Kyle Shanahan talk about him? It's <laughs> like he's he wants the guy to know that he sucks. It is weird. I mean, I was just listening to uh we just did the 49ers uh preview earlier in the day and they're a tough team to handicap because they do have a good roster um and and, and pieces around him. But uh, I was listening to an interview with George Kittle where he goes, you know, Trey Lance, he gets better every day. It's like, wait, what? That's not <laughs> what you say to someone who's, you know, a dark Sean, horse to win the MVP. As soon as that's we, what you say to someone who's like, you know, <laughs> recovering from like a head injury, and it's like, yeah, one day at a time. He's he's <laughs> he's got motion in his hands right now. It's he keeps getting better every day. It's like that's not what you say for like a dominant quarterback. As soon as we finished that interview with Robbie Gold, and he had he couldn't yeah. 
the the materialized statement about how Trey Lance is doing great in practice was like, well, uh oh. <laughs> That, I don't know. If that's it's like a, when HR brings you in, and they're uh, like, "Do you have a problem with this person?" Like, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> they are doing great. They, you know, they're getting better every day at their job. You know, just to avoid the confrontation. I mean, these guys are they 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 see what trade so, is. So it's so I I got to five and three in the first eight, which feels so you're about right. you're two and two in this. Well, right. and maybe it I'm should for, be switched, but I'll just keep it three and one. Plus okay, six and six and, six two. and two. All right, Jacksonville at home at Chargers. Rams and are home. you gonna go to that game, Dan? I'm. I so I've of got course, a relative, right? a rich uh, uh, f- uh, brother-in-law. That sounds exciting. Yeah, <laughs> and he might swing into town and just comp the entire thing. Maybe Is there put a us boat in a box. involved? <laughs> I just have to wait it out. I just have to make sure <laughs> playing chicken. But I'm, I'm not wasting money on a ticket of my own. I, I like that. Uh, so Rams at home, and then at Bengals, a bit of a revenge spot there. Mm. I don't. I think they'll. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna just have them split the division games. I think. So I. I do think Herbert. They get one right. It does Herbert win one in the regular? Yeah. I, yeah. I, right. But maybe and maybe it's swap because Chargers inevitably for some reason are better on the road than at home. But I think I graded that first one a win for the the Chiefs. I'll grade this a loss, and then Jags. That one's an easy win. Hmm. <laughs> the Jags that, at home. Right, Doug P versus Andy Reid. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, Doug P owes Andy Reid big time. He wouldn't. You take. Google uh, why <laughs> Doug Peterson left Kansas City and how he got the job. Oh wow, <laughs> he's okay. he's gonna lay we down uh, for we for Andy Reid. We won't look into that. We won't look into that. Uh, uh, Rams two at home. Two? I'm not high on the Rams, and and the the Bengals is a sweet revenge spot for them. I <sighs> three and one. I might go three and I'm gonna go three and one here. I think this is a good like hitting their stride. Uh Andy Reid in November late season run. I'll do 3 and 1. Danny? I you know, I love it. I think <laughs> I I I'm not sure what is making you low on the Rams. I worry about yeah. the Rams. No, I I think the Rams are the Matt game Safford. They lose. It on all, the road. And he oh, could have like his pal, his arm palsy or whatever two it is. And two. <laughs> you know, I heard a, I heard a really basic good point on that. If Matt Stafford was really, if there was really a problem, he wouldn't be doing anything in the preseason. Well, and probably they would have. You would have seen them sign some sort of yeah. uh, bring in some like a Josh I, Rosen trade for Minshew, something to bring in. I'm gonna adjust to two and two. Okay, that's where I am. I and and it really hinges on the Bengals. I know that it does feel like like the momentum, the juice will be with us for having lost these two games, yeah. but it's a tough spot. I don't like the Cincinnati. matchups. Yeah. I just don't like who we're going to be. All right, I'll go two and two. Your pessimism's swaying me. Oh, seven and five right now for me. Wow. But then, I, you know, all of it. <laughs> then we're on. No, you know what? No, no. Keep it three and one. Oh my three God, and one, dude, I'm, I'm eight and four. Good thing. There's the undo button. All right. Next four at Denver. So this is a back-to-back road spot. Bengals and then at Denver. It's actually I'm sorry, it's the middle game of three mm. road games in a row. At Bengals, at Denver, at Houston. The at Bengals is Sunday night football for now. We have at Texans, Seattle at home, Denver at home. I'm going 2 and 2 here. Just cuz of the the three game road spot for the Broncos there. I think the Texans could I'll could actually be a little games. sneaky at home. They they ran yeah. Do they randomly drop the game against the Texans? Uh, as gu- as guys who <laughs> are on. invested in the Texans oh, he goes, division, <laughs> I'll go two and two here. Two and two. Yeah, I can see two and two here. This is four and zero. Oh, oh okay. yes. I, do not tell they me do about close, the Broncos. They do close strong. I and that this is our time. This is December. This is you know a team the in the Broncos that we just own and have. They're the team. That we've beaten consistently for, so, I mean, I, I can't even count how many. Se- it's been like since before, like the iPad was invented or something. It's like there are crazy like, <laughs> All right, lists three and of one. things that three have and one, been invented since three and one. And then you know who else are you talking about? The Texans sneaking one past us? I don't think so. Are we going three, three and, and one. one? Three and one. All right. Jesus. All right. Last game at Las Vegas. So I I have them at eleven and five at this point. I think I'm gonna agree. I, I'm I think I'm also eleven and five. I'm gonna grade this loss. I'm gonna check my Raiders uh, preview. Let's see what we picked, John. I'll find that. No, you don't need to hold me to it. Right? I'm not gonna hold you to it. I'm just gonna remind <laughs> you what you picked. 
You can do whatever you want, Sean. All right. So you uh, at Raiders, are they winning? Danny? Absolutely. Yeah, I I the aforementioned Derek Carr thing. I mean, it's he We actually had the Raiders losing this one, Sean. Really? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, they, then, was that a curveball you weren't expecting? All right, so they win. Uh, Chiefs win that one, but then go back and make that other uh, last quadrant two and two. Okay, I got to get them to eleven and six. That's the right number for me. I and and eleven and six feels normal to me as well. It just feels like a slight step back from last season. I think I might have gotten to six losses based on the numbers that we just threw out. But I mean, you got to five. Oh, you have them winning the last game against the Raiders. Yeah, so then it's only five. Five, I mean, we, you know, 12 and five, or do you want to go 11? And, see, I, I, I 11 and six is yeah. fine. It's just, I don't believe in, in the division winning more than one game against us because that has been the standard for the last four seasons. Ooh, okay. Easy in the YouTube chat. He's going 12 and five, four and two in the division, winning the division. Um, mm. And we can talk, we'll talk all the future odds, maybe some uh, alt win totals conference. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. But before we do that, Ryan, shout out to trade coffee. That's right. I'm not drinking a uh, trade coffee right now. A little late night s- sipping some whiskey, but tomorrow morning, you know what coffee is in my uh, coffee pot and my grinder. It's trade coffee, delicious trade coffee. I get the whole bean roast. And uh, first off, it starts with the coffee quiz. Very easy. You say, Hey, I like this flavor. I don't like this flavor. They send you uh, coffee beans you know, completely matched to your flavor profile. Tastes delicious. It's very convenient, obviously, to have it delivered to your house. You don't want to wake up without coffee. Uh, my wife is addicted to coffee in mm. an insane way. And trust me, if we wake up without coffee. Mm. Women morning, don't have addiction. <laughs> morning, morning has been completely destroyed. So trades delivered over 5 million bags of fresh coffee with more than 750,000 positive reviews. And uh, new subscribers, total of thirty dollars off your first order plus free shipping. Just go to drinktrade.com slash SGP. That's more than forty cups of coffee for free. Get started by taking their coffee quiz at drinktrade.com slash SGP and let trade find you a coffee that you'll love. That's drinktrade.com slash SGP for thirty dollars off. And of course, shout out to Dave. Who is Dave? Great question. Dave is the banking app that helps you out when you're in a tight situation. It's let's be honest. Um, inflation, whatever it is, you're you're running a little low on cash. <laughs> you know, do you really want to ask your friends, your family? Uh, I mean, your, your parents for money? No, let's be honest. That's pretty embarrassing. Dave is a banking app that can help you get up to five hundred dollars instantly with extra cash. That's more money to fill your tank. Get a wedding gift, catch up on bills, whatever is stressing you out cash wise. Extra five hundred bucks can really go a long way. No interest, no credit check needed very easy to get set up. All you got to do is download the Dave app from the app store right now. That's D a V E sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly for terms and conditions. Go to dave.com slash legal instant transfer fees applies banking provided by evolve member F D I C. I certainly agree with the the points of the, them maybe doing better than I initially gave them credit for in the division. I mean, Denver, for example, has an, a back to back at Carolina at Ravens leading up to their first Chiefs game. The second one comes off the heels of an at Rams, another second of a back to back. So they definitely have some night, like, even though the schedule appears difficult, they definitely have some kind of nested in advantage, small advantages. And they are the Chiefs. They are Patrick Mahomes. I'm going to stick with 12 and five, actually. So I'm going to hold, sir. Uh, you're at 11 and six. Yep. You, you said you were at 12 and five, and then you backed off to 11 and six. you want to stay. I'll be reasonable and oh, and say 11 and six. Okay, that, See now, now Danny's putting him in the side where he's like, Hey, I'm not a homer. I had less wins we, than we you still Ryan real money Kramer. So we all like the over. Yes. It sounds like, yeah. Cause I think uh, again, um, and, and what win bet has it at 10 and a half, 10 and a half, pretty even juice, both sides, nothing, nothing crazy jumping out there. Uh, what about what about some of the other things? Win the AFC West plus one seventy. No, I don't. I don't like that price. And I, I mean, if you're high on the Chiefs, I think you're better off just rolling to win the AFC, and you could maybe hedge out if you get soft there at plus five fifty to win the Super Bowl plus uh, twelve hundred. Make playoffs at minus two fifty is just not interesting to me. Miss playoffs at plus two hundred. I, I really just kind of like the over, and then some of these some of the player props. Um, which we can get into, but Danny, Dan- what about you? Any 
Are you going to hop on the win the AFC West? Bet a hundred, win one hundred seventy. I mean, I would have, I would have locked that down, uh, except for that you're just making it sound like an idiot bet. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just. I think it's going to be super competitive, and I would be super annoyed if, let's say, the Chiefs and the Broncos both win eleven games. You lose the tiebreaker on the division because of some whatever, like strength of schedule thing, uh, the head to head, whatever it is. Plus one seventy, uh, yeah. It's just I don't know, not that appetizing. If we go five and one in the division, which I believe very strongly that we will, then mm. I just think you know th- that's free money, much like Dave. You know, yes, exactly, free money. That Although you know, well terms and conditions apply. See, <laughs> look into that, um, Brian. What about you? Well, we, Chiefs. We, now, Danny is talking me into these division wins. Well, uh, yeah. Over, what, what's their division win over under? Three and a half. And oh you can get God. plus one ten on the over. Yeah, should we, that is. Should we pencil that onto the betting card? That is one I really like, right, and I'm, honestly, I'm that one is a fun. Even if you're like a little less high on them at the win total at ten and a half, uh, over three and a half division wins at plus one ten, that is pretty fun. To Danny's point, it feels like they could sweep one of the teams and then split the other two, and they're in a good. They're you're four and two. I I I do like that. Yeah. Again, I think I think people are expecting them to not be a. They're not like people aren't expecting them to be the Chiefs the, ne- next year. It's clear. I mean, I I get it. They're still like fourth or fifth favorite to to be the highest scoring team. Mahomes is still like the fourth favorite for the MVP, but it just doesn't feel like they're getting the same juice. At your peril, people. D- to your well, point, yeah, Ryan. That's called uh, gambling. <laughs> <laughs> Mahomes to win the uh, NFL MVP nine to one. I I think you could have a really good year, Danny. You're in on you're in on Mahomes MVP. The problem with Mahomes. Is like they're, you know, with any of these awards, there has to be like a narrative, mm-hmm. and maybe the narrative for Mahomes is like, hey, he balls out without Tyreek Hill, and maybe there is value at nine to one. Where, where are you at, Danny? That's are exactly you- it. I okay. mean, that's well said. It, it seems like the obvious narrative is that if he can do it mm-hmm. without these pieces and without yeah. a, a rock solid defense, which he never seems to have anyway. I mean, you know, Aaron Rodgers has won it the last two seasons. He's going to beat Russ twice, so you're not going to give it to him. I mean, you know, Herbert, I feel pretty lukewarm about. And Herbert is the guy the media wants to give it to. Herbert Mm. is the, he's a young guy on the rise. He does have a pizza face, as Danny pointed out before the show. It's a problem. (laughs) Just going to hurt his endorsement deals. But Herbert is the guy they want to give it to. But again, they didn't want to give it to Aaron Rodgers. Um, The media didn't want to give it to Rodgers. Obviously, for a number of reasons, but at some point, when you win 13 games and your stats are through the roof, they just kind of have to give it to you. What was the price on the MVP? Man, I didn't think I would like the Mahomes MVP, but at nine to one, nine to okay, one. so highest, I'm kind of getting interested. Highest scoring team, Chiefs are plus 850. Mm. Most wins, Chiefs are plus 800. Both those scenarios, Mahomes is winning the MVP, right? Yeah. So nine to one's better. All right. I'm in Danny's honor. I'm going to do a sprinkle on Mahomes. Oh, 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 yeah. oh MVP. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Cause I've given out some, I've given Chip out some, on his shoulder. Yeah. Uh, I've given out some of the, the more fun long shots, but at nine to one, uh, w- one bet, definitely stay away. The fact that they're still offering to Sean Watson MVP. <laughs> What's it at I now? Mean, 12 to one still 14 to they've one moved it down to 40 to one, but Kirk cousins is 50 on, to one. Guys. If he can do, do if he can ball out in the six games, he's going to play. <laughs> I mean, he probably won't play. Why are they? Uh, and also, the media votes for it. it. You guys are insane to be betting. How are they? <laughs> it's even only off? forty to one. I know it should be like a thousand to one. Jeez, you are sick, people. Offensive rookie of the year. Um, Sky Moore's ten to one. That's that is way too short. You can't talk me into it. I, Easy I, in the chat throwing out first loss Bills week six twenty one. That is one. very possible. So that's fun. bet a hundred bucks. You get twenty one hundred if their first loss is week six. So they would have to uh, at Cardinals, okay. Chargers on Thursday night at home, at Colts at Bucks on Sunday night, Raiders at home Monday night. So the only I, game I didn't feel like any of that was crazy. Brian, the only game they would not be favored in, I think, would be at Bucks, right? Uh, they they assuming will, Brady's alive. They will not be or whatever he's going through. Is he coming back? 
So yeah, looking at the look aheads, uh, they're favored by three at Arizona, three at home against the Chargers, two and a half in Indy, two and a half point dogs at uh, Tampa, and they're laying six at home against the Raiders, and they're projected really? to be. Listen to this: one and a half point home dogs at home against Buffalo. Maybe we're betting that uh, when we get out to Vegas for Week One, Sean, because that that look ahead is juicy. So Chief, Chiefs first loss to the Bills at twenty one hundred. All right, I'm in. Small sprinkle on <laughs> that because the the well, I mean the fir- I mean they're favored. I mean yeah. it makes sense. Uh, but yeah, Sky Feels Moore a little dirty to do that. Sky Moore offensive rookie of the year. I I just don't see it. I mean. I wonder what Pacheco is all the way. He's <laughs> he's thirty to one now. He's How's only thirty to no, one, no, which is for for, for frame of reference. George Pickens, uh, a starting receiver yeah. on the Steelers, was forty to one mm-hmm. like uh, ten days ago. So Ch gets hurt in the first game, and now we're talking. <laughs> no, I, I, but I'm just at thirty to one. That's kind of a seventh round running back from Rutgers. Yeah, I I can't get there. What about uh Karloftis, oh. rookie defensive rookie of the year? Nah, right? right? It's I, tough. Sixteen yeah. to one. You really need sacks. Opportunity. He's the third guy coming off the edge. I think they're gonna they're gonna have Frank and Dunlap to start the season and bring in Karloftis to get some seasoning. I mean, maybe if he comes on strong in the second half, but Price. he's probably a six sack guy, six to eight sacks. And, and speaking, I mean, again, we were talking about him, but I'd rather take Drake Jackson at thirty to one. Okay. Just because, again, with Bosa and with uh, Armstead on that line, uh, Karloftis' price isn't right. He's not going to get the opportunities. I don't think. To, to Danny's point, Andy Reid, Coach of the Year. No, oh, come on. I mean, hey, he, same thing with Mahomes, though. Same kind of dynamic. Well, uh, here's here's I guess here's the difference for me and Andy Reid. Obviously, a great coach. Probably he's like Belichick. He probably deserves it, but. They give coach of the year if like you you come in and you you got to win like four more games than you won yeah. the previous year mm, to yeah. be coach of the year and, and they're coming off a twelve or, and five season or we find out Tyreek Hill is batshit crazy and Andy <laughs> Reid gets a uh, delayed coach of the year award. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, th- there's nothing there. Although the, the MVP, as much as I didn't think I would be in on it, the the narrative is pretty easy. He obviously can get the stats. You yeah, know, no I mean, Tyreek Hill. The fact that you know Tyreek Hill is claiming that uh, you know Patrick Mahomes is, is not as good as Tua, I think he could have a not I as think, accurate, not as accurate. I think so, he could have a, a real, cr- real chip on his such shoulder. Such a crazy right? thing to say about someone out loud. Trying to, I mean, I get trying to hype up your new teammate, but he went very specific. Like he's really accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mahomes had thirty-seven touchdowns in a down year. Yeah, if he goes over forty. You know, gets to like 42, 43 touchdowns off of like eight interceptions. I mean, that's an easy MVP, I think. If he wins, if he wins the eleven to twelve games that we're talking about, yeah. No, and I and I think they'll they'll certainly be um, talk there as far as just like the narr- You know, with the MVP, you have to have a narrative, and and I think with he, he certainly has that narrative. Um, Patrick Mahomes win has his uh, over under passing yards. Forty six fifty passing touchdowns, thirty four and a half. Danny, if you had to choose between those two, what which ones do you like? What was the first one? Passing yards right, over yards. unders, uh, forty six fifty, four thousand six hundred fifty, or passing over. touchdowns. Yeah, I mean, I think th- I think honestly, it's going to be the yards. He's going to spread it around so much. He's going to throw it to running backs, and you know, Andy Reid doesn't like to run the ball, even though he easy should. yards after the catch. Sure, he doesn't like to run the ball. A lot of guys on that team who could step up and do. Th- he loves these little pop passes and things yeah. like that that technically count. Yeah, you're right. I'll I'll take the um because the goal line situation could get interesting. To your point, maybe Pacheco steals steals some uh, passing touchdowns. So. I'm with you of those two, and yeah, add it to my card, Ryan. Give me Mahomes over uh, 46 and a half. If if you guys want a name for the red zone that you haven't yeah. thrown out yet, Jody Fortson. Okay. Jody Fortson Ooh, looked first great. Touchdown. Yes, he looked great in early action. We lost Blake Bell uh, to a hip flexor injury, and okay, so, so I he's, he's going to be in there more. Is he going to kind of be the backup tight end that uh, they would run and run some cute stuff for? He is a guy. No, he's right. big. He has. Where, yeah, well, no, that's no a good Gray question. is not that guy. I'm just okay. saying, like, it's good to 
It's Jody good that Fortson. Noah Gray is getting better, I think, oh, in Fortson's year two. But Fortson is guy. is the guy. He had the touchdowns last season, early in the season before he got hurt, and you know I think it was a uh, Achilles or ACL, one of those season enders, and he basically uh, you he's going to get us some first touchdown money. He was year. he was the second touch uh, second tight end for oh, us. Oh, in fact, let's just circle it on the schedule, Sean. Put mark a reminder on your calendar. Uh, week two, Thursday night football yep. against the Chargers. What we're, date is that? I'm going to put in my Google gonna, calendar gonna, right now. Uh, 14th, maybe 15th, okay. 15th. Uh, Chargers, they're they're ta- they're facing the Chargers. We're going to play a Mahomes first touchdown with a Fortson, and we're going to go Herbert with Parham. We'll just lock in that first touchdown. Quarter card. unit on all this. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Uh, I I have a player prop that feels a little bit like a lock. Uh, it's pro pro Kansas City. Do you want to hear it, Sean? I uh, yeah. I'm gonna read off starting last year and going backwards. Travis yeah. Kelsey's yardage total. Oh God. Eleven twenty five, fourteen sixteen, twenty or uh, twelve twenty nine, thirteen thirty six, one thousand thirty eight, eleven twenty five. That is six seasons of football. Only one year, twenty seventeen, when he had. 1,038 receiving yards. Did he go under the number this year of 1,100? Tyreek Hill was on the team all those yeah. years. <laughs> what what the man. fuck are we doing? I'm, I'm, we're not big on the overs here, but what are we doing here? Travis Kelsey over 1,100 yards. It's just like the DJ Moore one. It, the, the price is wrong. Yeah, he's the, coming off 134 targets and. How do you how do you run a model where he doesn't get more targets? I, I guess just injury. He has had slightly declining efficiency, which is uh, which is a bit of a red <laughs> hairs. The volume is going to be there. Yeah, and I mean, nah. even if it's not the touchdowns, he'll get the yards. Anyway, again, not not well, a big over e- guy. Easy, easy saying. He found it at a thousand fifty and a half. So wow, let's give ourselves <laughs> oh. a better number. Kelsey, yeah, of course, over receiving yards one fifty and a half. Uh, put that. Make sure you put that on the tracker <laughs> spreadsheet. Make sure we get all our uh, units completely in line. Save us a tenth of a unit there, Sean. All right. Anything uh anything else, Ryan? Do you think the public and I just thought of some some, some content yeah. we can create. Do you th- do you think the public would like to see a how to bet Thursday night football first touchdowns right now? We yes. gave out every single first touchdown <laughs> bet right now for the for Thursday night football. Would you consume that content? Oh, one hundred percent. What about you, Danny? Yeah, I mean, you'd want to know what to bet. It's it's the it's the tight end. We just whipped up a week two. I mean, not everyone can whip up a first touchdown card in the future like we just did. It's the tight end. I'm pretty impressed with what we. Unless it's a big name tight end, then it's the backup tight end or the quarterback running it in. That's the formula. I mean, it's pretty simple. And occasionally, you know, something weird. Yeah, you get some wonky stuff in there, depending on the team. Danny, appreciate you uh, coming in, hanging out. Check out Danny on the Sorry We Love Football podcast. Wherever great podcasts are downloaded, uh, throw out your Twitter handle. Anything else you want to plug? Uh, just uh, go check out my album. It's called Genius. It's on all the stuff. It just got back on Spotify. They tried to silence me, but I'm back. <laughs> you let us know if you need anything on the, on the yeah. that front there. We'll take care Please. of it. And hey, uh, toss a rating and review over on uh, Apple Podcast. Screenshot it. Submit it in the uh, SGPN app. Just click the contest tab there for your chance to win a fifty dollars gift card every Monday, aka Merch Monday. Thank you for participating it, in the Sports Gambling Podcast. Easy's concerning me. He's a, he said, "Did we forget to do something in the team preview?" No FB. Yeah, what does he did, say? We, did we forget to talk about football? Is that what that means? <laughs> no. Was he saying no future bets? We we what gave out no the we I, gave out a shit ton of future I, bets. I I feel like we gave out a lot of bets. All right, let's fullback. Michael Burton no is our fullback. fullback. Oh, yeah. he's he's talking about uh first touchdown bets. <laughs> oh. Yes, fullback are definitely uh, worked into the equation. Uh, when, when appropriate. Yeah. A little bit of fool's gold there. There's a couple. <laughs> 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 Appreciate you, Easy. No, I, thanks I was, for thanks for keeping us on our toes. And and uh shout out to Easy because I did I was looking at one of our like chat services and it, uh, Easy got a, a call out as being the, an absolute chat dog. Hashtag Dejans only. All right, get oh, us out of here. Oh. You, do we have, do we have for participating in the sports gambling podcast? Do we have a Showtime Mahomes on the board? Oh, let me see. It feels like we need one of it's those. It's usually a, yeah. I should have had it queued up for the. Uh, here you go. 
Showtime, my home. Oh. Showtime, my Bill home. Bill Burr just getting real angry about how much Showtime, my home. attention uh, Patrick Mahomes gets. Uh, for the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, stack in the money green, and he is Ryan. A strange twist of fate. I'm going over on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Kramer, let it ride. <laughs>